All right, so before we switch over to the terminal to install Laravel and Livewire, why don't we actually begin within Zeppelin? Now, you'll see here behind the scenes, I worked with the designer for Laracast, Adrian, to create some initial branding. My only instructions were it should be called Codebreaker, and it should be pretty kid or family friendly. And this is what he came up with. And I think he did a pretty good job. All right, so to get started, I'm going to grab the logo here, and you'll see I can save it as an SVG. And why don't we just put it in our desktop? All right, cool. So now let's open up the terminal and install Laravel. We're going to call our project Codebreaker. And you can see at the time of this recording, what do we have? Version 10.2.6 of the framework. All right, cool. So now I will CD in there. And let's begin by moving the logo from the desktop into the public folder. All right, now I can open this within my editor. All right, very cool. We have a fresh Laravel app. And again, here is the logo. OK, so why don't we do this? Uh, hmm, let's begin within our resources views directory. And we have this initial welcome page. And we can access that by visiting codebreaker.test if you have Valet or Herd installed, as you can see right here. Pretty cool. But now I want to start with a layout file. So within our views directory, let's add a new components folder. And within it, we will add layout.blade.php. And at least to start, I'll add some fairly boilerplate uh, wrapper HTML. And this will be our main slot. OK, so now if I switch back to the welcome page, I could replace all of this with our layout component. And I can say, hello, world. All right, switch back to the browser, give it a refresh, and that looks good. All right, cool. So the next step is to pull in both Livewire and Tailwind CSS. So let's do that now. If I visit the home page for Livewire, livewire.laravel.com, we can go into the quick start. And yeah, it looks like we need to require it like so. And then we can instantly begin creating components. All right, so let's do that now. OK, so we have Livewire 3. Next, let's grab Tailwind. And again, if we visit tailwindcss.com, we can go to the documentation, find a framework guide for Laravel. And yeah, here's what we need. So we already have a project. It looks like we now need to install Tailwind, PostCSS, and AutoPrefixer. And then we can initialize uh, the tailwind.configuration file. All right, so I will paste that in. All right, that looks good. Next, if I switch back, we want to update our Tailwind configuration file to include uh, all of the paths that Tailwind should be aware of for our templates. OK, so I will go down to tailwind.config. And within content, I can paste it here. And again, this is a Laravel specific framework guide, so these should work just fine. Look for all Blade files, all JavaScript files, all view files. Again, um, that will probably be irrelevant for this project, but we'll keep it in there just in case. All right, cool. Let's switch back. We now need to visit app.css and add the uh, various Tailwind uh, directives. So I will copy that. And we can go into uh, resources, CSS, app.css, and paste that in. All right, cool. And I believe, yeah, now we just have to start our build process. Cool. So let's close this down. Uh, we will then install install our development dependencies. It looks like I've already done that. And I can now run npm run dev, which will create the initial uh, Vite server. But now, of course, if I switch back to Firefox, we won't see any difference whatsoever. And that's because I haven't yet pulled in the compiled app.css file. So that's our next step. Let's go into our layout file. And why don't we first call this code breaker? And then right here, yeah, I can use the v directive to reference our app.css file. All right, so now we should see some small changes, and we do. And yeah, here you can see it's applied a, a browser reset or normalizer. But yeah, nonetheless, uh, within Welcome, we could add any classes here like text red. Uh, text extra large, all of this stuff will work uh, just fine, which is great. All right, so now we have Laravel installed. We have Livewire installed. We have Tailwind CSS installed. Why don't we finish up by creating uh, an initial component? And don't worry, uh, we're still figuring this out. Maybe we'll change the component name shortly. But I need some kind of component to like create 
our code, right? Because remember, that's what we're doing here. We're going to have some text area for the parent or whoever to write some message. And that message will then be converted into various symbols or code that the child has to, to break. You know, you've done these millions of times when you were a kid in school. So why don't we say... Uh, and real quick, if I run PHP Artisan, we will have a new Livewire namespace available uh, after we installed that. All right, so in our case, we're going to make a new Livewire component. PHP Artisan, Livewire, make. And yeah, again, why don't we just start with create code, something like that. And we can change that later once we understand a bit more. But I try not to get too bogged down. Uh, in the early stages, because you don't really know what you're doing yet, do you? So don't spend a bunch of time thinking about a name when probably in a couple hours that name will come instantly to you. It doesn't matter. All right, so you can see, uh, excuse me, let's get rid of this. You can see we now have our Livewire component class as well as the corresponding view. So that means right here, we could go ahead and import it like so, Livewire create code. And if I click through here, you can see I can go directly to that file and I'll show you where that is. It's within views, Livewire, create code. All right, here is my Livewire component. So notice at the moment, I'm not even trying to build anything. I'm just getting all my ducks in a row. I'm getting everything set up so that in the next episode, we can start writing HTML and PHP. All right, let's come back to Firefox, give it a refresh. Or actually, because we have our Vite server running, I don't even have to refresh it, which is cool. And I can see that we have our component. So yeah, just a quick little uh, refresher on how this works. Uh, if I go into app Livewire, here's our component. We could have, you know, the obligatory count example. And then right down here within the corresponding component, why don't we have the count? All right, so we are defining uh, a value within a PHP class, and we're setting it to zero, and then we are displaying it within the corresponding template, as you see here. And then, of course, the magic is I can do things like this. Maybe we have a button called increment. I can then register an event listener where I say, when you click on this, why don't we increment uh, the value? So now this will effectively call an increment method on the corresponding component class. So we could add it right here, increment where I then say this count plus plus, and that will then re-render the template. All right, back to the browser. And yeah, it's not gonna look pretty, but it does work. We are now incrementing that value without triggering a full page refresh, which is pretty cool. And you can even do stuff like this, where maybe you wanna be extra sure. So you could say wire confirm. Are you sure about that? Are you sure about that? Uh, come back, and yeah, you get this stuff for free cancel, and that will, uh, of course, cancel the increment. Okay, so I think that's pretty good. We have our logo, we have Laravel, we have Tailwind, we have Livewire, we have our Vite server up and running. I think we're all set. So in the next episode, I'm going to actually start writing some code.